What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So yes, today I'm comparing some of the things that Union Arena do that I think they do better than Y Schwarz. Now that's not to say that I don't think Y Schwarz do some things better than Union Arena, but that's not what the video is about. I want to just point out some things that I think would be really nice to see maybe Y Schwarz Bushy Road pick up on these things and maybe learn and, and adapt and improve based on some of the things that they are doing. So let's get into it. Let's go over a few of these things that I think they do a lot better. Now, obviously this is based mainly on a collective perspective, my perspective, of course, and obviously playing the game and the game and the way the mechanics work and everything, that's completely different comparison, completely different argument. Um, so yeah, bear that in mind, I'm not actually comparing playing the game, but purely from a collective side of things. The one thing I really noticed when I was streaming Y Schwarz, doing case openings, whether that was on YouTube, whatnot, or anything like that, any streaming sites there was a big big problem which was there are maps pull rates in Y Shores um, which means you end up with dead boxes uh, e even just on the second hand market like even if you take streaming out of it completely there's dead boxes on the second hand market you have to be really careful like where you're buying your boxes where you're buying your sealed product from unless you're getting a, a full sealed case um, now obviously those hit rates differ set to set but there is always map rates. There's always going to be typically two or three hits out of the case of 18, right? So that in itself caused a lot of problems. And in this day and age, um, in terms of trading card games and collecting, streaming is huge, right? Platforms like whatnot are so big for creating more interest and just like they are just such a big go-to place for people who want to buy product and get it opened on stream now i know it's not for everyone but i think you'd be silly to just because it's not for you deny how much of an impact streamers and how much product um and not only that just how much exposure um and just how how many people view that and, and see the card games and potentially get into collecting them purely based off of streaming um i think it's it's these past few years streaming has taken um card games and just just taken the hobby by storm and it's taken them to just another level that you know go f even five years back you just it wasn't it wasn't something that people really done um and the amount of people that will just hop on to these streaming apps and just pick up packs pick up boxes pick up raws some people like that is their only way of collecting like they purely collect because of those streaming platforms and they don't necessarily buy singles on sites or buy on ebay and things like that and and buy products to, to open themselves some people purely collect from those streaming sites so the fact is those map pull rates really affect like being able to do that like at the end of the day i i just i stopped i pretty much stopped streaming case openings um, for Y Schwartz because it just it's, it's it's kind of impossible to do right let's say you open a case and within the first six boxes you you've hit the the hits no one wants those remaining boxes for the same price um, I did another video on it uh, quite some time ago but there's just so many complications and you can say oh you know fill all the spaces for the case before you know you, you do the opening things like that obviously that does work but the reality is filling 18 booster boxes is extremely hard especially for me someone in the uk um it's just extremely hard and i think i spoke to a lot of other streamers and um they ended up kind of just selling raws selling singles and things like that in terms of white wars um and didn't really open sealed product for that exact reason right um it's just too difficult with with the dead boxes now obviously in union arena you've got pull rates that are beyond case hits like even the three star rarity cards they're beyond a case hit. You might get it in a case, you might not. Um, I think potentially they're like one in three cases roughly, but don't quote me on that. Really can't remember off the top of my head. But um, so you've got that rarity already. So even if like those hits um, have gone already, like if, if a two star has been hit, there's still a potential in those remaining boxes. Those remaining boxes aren't necessarily dead. Three star could be in those rema remaining boxes. You just don't know. So there isn't dead boxes in the same sense whatsoever not only that the pen sign serialized cards as well i know if you hit an action point which is one per case 
then um, I think that's it. You know, you're not going to get the pen signed serialized one because it would have replaced that. So um, you've you've got that there. But like obviously, if you haven't hit that, like I feel like there's a more of a variety to hit as well. Um, you know, you've got two star, you've got a one one star in every in every box. Um, you've got the two star in the case, the action point in the case, potentially a three star in the case. Like it just really helps do that dead box sort of issue um, that Y Schwarz has and really we haven't seen anything done to change that now I know Chainsaw Man did come out with the Chainsaw Man rares um, which were beyond case hit so they kind of work in the same way but I feel like I feel like those pull rates were extremely hard it was almost like one in I think it was like roughly like one in ten cases so like the, the boxes were kind of dead because of how hard it was to get that that chainsaw man rare um and simply the sps that were sort of case mapped hits they were super cheap as well so like it just unfortunately as, as good as that would have been like it just the the set and how well it done like it just it just didn't really work out in my opinion and just how hard those chainsaw man rares were to hit just just yeah it, it didn't really work out um so yeah the the maps the map pull rates thing really could be improved upon because yeah streaming could just take it to a whole nother level and i feel like white shores have now missed the boat on that almost um you know union arena's there one piece is there and, and you, i see tons of that on those streaming sites and it does extremely well um because of that you know same with one piece you've got manga rares beyond case hits like nothing is really dead um and if it is dead it's actually got more chance of getting something bigger like a manga in it technically so like um yeah i just I wish they could learn something i guess from that because it really would change things i believe um for why Schwartz. now obviously the ips is another thing like union arena their ips are just massive like it's the lineup you know why Schwartz still get some big ips and that is really really good to see but when you just compare the lineup it, it just it it's just on another level like it's just so different um and and i kind of get it like union Reen is clearly geared towards the average anime watcher that is into shonen you know those kind of just more normal popular anime shows um don't get me wrong like union Reen have got the odd ones here or there which um you know aren't shonen and, and aren't just like top 10 anime right um so that's obviously good to see that they mix it up but like you can also easily see that some of those lesser known ips just really don't do that well like the prices of those japanese boxes can be really cheap um which makes sense like you're making a set on something that isn't as popular so it's not going to sell as well like it obviously that's the case right um but yeah why schwarz i feel like they've They've got more sets that are kind of just like, uh, you know, obviously there's always a set for someone, right? But at the end of the day, it's, you know, it's a card game. You kind of want more people to be in, interested in it. You kind of want to grow it over time. Like at the end of the day, it's a business. It's a company. You want it to do well. You want it to grow over time. And, you know, don't get me wrong, you know, especially Japanese, you know, you've had Disney, Marvel, like the crazy things like that, which I, I feel like five years ago, you just wouldn't think would have happened um but personally yeah i mean if you just put the ips side by side it's just it, it, yeah it's just not comparable like union arena is just geared towards um just a, a more casual anime uh watcher than necessary i i yeah i guess why schwarz is more geared towards anime enthusiasts that's what i'd say um which caters to a smaller group at the end of the day in my opinion that's going to cater it's, maybe not in japanese but like especially uh, in the west like it's definitely going to cater to a smaller group um of people and uh yeah it'd just be nice to see like i would love to see some of those ips that union arena had come out in white shores like before union arena came out right uh i feel like this is obviously a great opportunity i guess for bushy road and white shores to see these things that are being done but um you know and make improvements but I don't really see anything changing much um personally like I, I i don't i really don't think they're going to to suddenly start doing anything dramatically different like get a load of these huge ips or completely change up the case configuration 
Um, like the things I've mentioned, like I just for some reason, like I just don't have faith like that change will happen. Um, but I mean, Union Arena's already doing it. So if that's something I guess you're interested in, and, and it, you know, you're seeing these IPs and the fact that you know you can pull I, I guess another thing like those serialized pen signed cards that union arena doing as a collector it's, it's completely different i've said it a million times like that is amazing that is honestly incredible um that they've managed to do something like that serialized numbers on the cards so you know whatever number you get is going to be a one of one and then pen signed by the voice actor not even stamped on like it, honestly as a collector like that is next level and uh i would you know wish we could get more of that like i wish white shorts could do it but i just don't see it happening um and obviously that's japanese only right so union arena is not yet out in english so it'd be really interesting to see how it does when it comes out in english and um at the end of the day it's still a new tcg i think this is one of the things that obviously i do need to talk about like white shorts obviously has that advantage of like it's been around for a long time it's stood the test of time which for new card games is extremely important because a lot of them don't make it at the end of the day a lot of them do start really really well um and then you know don't last even a couple of years right um so who knows you know maybe in five years union arena could not even be going like to be honest i think it will um if i had to guess i think it still will be going now will it be as popular as its first year of release when it comes to english i don't know i think we'll have to see i mean very similar to one piece again bandai make one piece it's bandai who are making union arena it's the same company um and yeah i think we have to see because i mean one piece came out it was quite popular on release and it's only grown ever since but i feel like that's because of a lot of other events like the live action then drew more people in and i feel like you know the anime is being remade now so like when that comes out and they start uh remaking the anime and uh, you know potentially more people get into it again i think there's another catalyst there that, that can potentially grow one piece as a tcg but i mean at the moment one piece has kind of had a bit of a drop off um in terms of collectors by the looks of things just if you look at prices like things have started to drop off but Again, I think a lot of that comes down to the fact there was a lot of hype. People could buy steel product, flip it quickly because the demand was there and the supply wasn't. Now the supply's there, you know, you're getting people, you know, leave because they can't just quickly flip some sealed product um, for easy money. So that has had a bit of a drop off. But yeah, I mean, it'd be really interesting to see even where One Piece will be in, you know, potentially five years time. But yeah, I think, you know, I just wish um, we could get more of this kind of collector focused things from Y Schwarz. Like it ju just changing the case configuration would do wonders. But unfortunately, I just, for, for, yeah, I just don't see it happening. Um, you know, they, they've just changed, you know, Japanese cases, but like it hasn't, you know, that's just the case sizes in terms of booster boxes, nothing to do with necessarily like the pull rates and, you know, beyond case hits and things like that. Um, and yeah, there's just, in terms of like EV, when you open a box, um, and in terms of just what you pull, like if you're getting one of those white Wars boxes that, that are dead, you know, not, you don't have to buy it dead, but like if you bought a box and you don't hit an SP or an SSP, you're probably getting like one or two SRs, which do have texture on, they do look amazing. I think white Wars does texture absolutely amazing. Um, although some of the, the Bandai One Piece and Union Arena cards, the texture on them have also been really, really amazing to see. Um, but yeah, I just think in terms of what you get out of the box as well. So Y Schwarz, you, you typically typically looking at like one or two SRs and I think four to five double rares. But the double rares just look identical to the rares in terms of, you know, obviously the design's different. But in terms of the foiling, so you don't get any texture, you just get the, the generic foil pattern that you have on the rares. So they don't actually look that different. Um, in terms of Union Arena, you're getting SRs and their SRs have texture on them. And sometimes even like silver kind of stamping and characters on the cards. Like as a collector, 
Union Arena SRs look amazing and you're getting like four of them per box and when you compare them to the Wash Wars equivalent which is the double rares like for me the Union Arena SRs look so much better so much better it feels like you've actually pulled something like it feels like you've got a hit like an actual hit out of the box when I hit a double rare in Wash Wars like I feel like I've got nothing um, I know there's sometimes value there, so sometimes a double rare might be worth a few dollars, sometimes ten dollars, because they're generally some playable cards, and obviously you only get sort of four per booster box. Um, so you, you normally get more value back from the double rares than you would like the SRs and things like that in White Schwarz. But as a collector and as just someone who wants to open a booster box and that opening experience, Union Arena just does that a lot better. Uh, it, for their new sets, getting four SRs where they've got texture on them, sometimes stamping, and then you also get your minimum one star rarity card per box. As an opening experience comparing those two, the Union Arena one, for me personally, is just much more fun, just much more exciting. You feel like you get more hits, um, and yeah, why Schwarz, you just get the double res, which are the equivalent hits, but they just, they do not hit the same, like they definitely don't hit the same. Um, but yeah, I think I think that's kind of just the, the points I wanted to go over, to be honest. So yeah, I'll be really interested to know what you guys think down below in the comments. Is there anything else that, that maybe you feel like Union Arena do better? Maybe there's tons more that you prefer White Schwarz and, and the way they do things in terms of a collector perspective. Um, in terms of playing the game, like I can't really comment too much on it, to be honest, because... I don't play either of them. I do want to pick up Union Arena at some point um, and try and play it because I have played One Piece before. So probably the transition to Union Arena should be easy. And I've heard it's quite a simple game to play. So might pick that up at some point just to see what it's like. Um, but in terms of playability, I mean, already like there is a tutorial to play Union Arena just literally on their website. Whereas I'm pretty sure White Shores don't have anything like that. So already from that side of things, like, you know, Union Arena have that better now in terms of playing the game I know they're going to play completely different and I know a lot of people didn't really like Union Arena and prefer Y Schwarz um but yeah obviously I can't really comment on that because I've not played either of them but yeah let me know what you think down below uh, thank you very much for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it if you did please hit like and subscribe and thanks for watching I'll see you guys in the next one